Hello everyone and welcome back to Teach Astronomy. My name is Victoria, but you can call me Vicky. And today I have decided that this channel is mine. This was decided two years ago when we started this channel because I was the one who wanted to start the channel. But now I'm saying that this channel is mine. And that means that we're going to play a game called an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. Because that's all I want to do. And it's tangentially related to astronomy. <laughs> oh, Grant, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. And I'm hyped for this game. So, apparently, my favorite thing about this is that apparently there is full controller support. This is so loud. <laughs> How is that? How is that feeling? Audio wise. The the volume does not change for me. I just want to make sure I'm not blowing out people's ears. Thank you so much, Lynn Jersey, for resubscribing too. You guys are amazing. Sounds good to you? Okay. Lynn Jersey, you've been here since like the day we started. I mean, obviously you've been here. You're my mother. Happy late Mother's Day, by the way. Um, I called yesterday, but still. Um, wow, you guys got me to uh, <laughs> to a cl uh, close to being on a hype train. Um, I think we're all just kind of chilling, vibing today, though. Um, but uh, 17 months is insane. We've been um, affiliates for 17 months. That's wild. Anyway, this is a game called An Airport for Aliens Currently Run by Dogs. I have been told that- oh, posture check. I'm- I'm sitting up very tall. Um, unfortunately, I cannot stand up, but I will be able to hydrate- okay. <laughs> it's coffee, but it's, you know, it's liquids. Um, but, uh, all the notifications, yes. I love it. Um, soon. And soon as in the next time I stream, which will actually not be Wednesday because I'm handing it over to um, Michael and Aiden because I'm going to be at my other job. But soon I'll be able to just stand up uh, at my desk because I got a standing desk converter. Because I realized that I'm going to be spending a lot of time doing some spreadsheets soon. And um, I can't sit down for that long anymore. Okay, I'm a little worried because it said there was controller support, but it's not working. But let me try. I'm switching it out with a real Steam controller. Let's see if that works. Because I do have a real Steam controller. Oh, good lord. Okay, you're using the configuration for- Oh, I'm controlling Streamlabs! <laughs> That's wild. It was controlling Streamlabs for a second. Um, it doesn't seem to love that. So many options. <laughs> we have a 60, it's, we have we have 60 frames per second in this. It's very exciting. Okay, I don't know if... Oh, it does work. Okay, there we go, great. We're gonna see how this is. I've heard it's, it's supposed to be very fun and very cute. Oh, you know what? Please work with the Xbox controller because I'm gonna make y'all sick with it. If you guys have never used a Steam controller, it's wild. It is wild. Um, oh, thank God. Okay, cool, cool, cool. This is it's very sensitive. <laughs> um, can I turn that down? No. Fair. Okay. Controller sensitivity. Ha 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 ha. Yes. Let's turn that down. Excellent. Well, okay. I I turned it I turned it too far down and now I can't turn. So 
Oh, Yang, don't want to miss out, but you're having trouble loading the stream. I'm sorry. Okay, that is much, that's much smoother. What I was going to say is, this is a Steam controller, if you've never seen one. This is a regular Xbox controller, you know. This is move left and right. This is, or, move. This is move, this is look, right? Two joysticks. This one. There's only one joystick. So you have to like, this one's just like a touch thing. And I, I don't know how people can do that, but it's not mine. Uh, I like the Xbox controllers. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the wildest thing. It's, I don't know how people like, like I could play it with this game, but it would not be very smooth. And I want to provide y'all a, oh, a table. Can I just, wow, I just walk right up the table. What about here? Cake. All right, let's talk to Krista. Interact as X. Okay. Oh, hey. You remember that dog you hired to cater our anniversary? Uh, no, but okay. You dropped a piano on your head and locked us in a metal box. In hindsight, trusting a dog named Cage Dog, the dog who loves cages, was a bit of a mistake. Fair enough. I don't blame you for doing it, but a mistake was absolutely made. <laughs> He said he made a killer chicken parmesan. And yet, the first course was cake. There was no part of this where the seven-foot dog looming over our table wasn't as suspicious as possible. What happened to Cage Dog? I dodged the cardboard avalanche. He jumped backward off the platform, and last I saw, he flew off on a hang glider. Try not to think about it too much. I won't. <laughs> Anyway, I put together this board to help you move your limbs again. That's good. You remember how to use airports, right? You remember. You're fine. Oh, let me move myself. No! I move the- I move the mouse and it's like... You wanna switch? You wanna switch to mouse controls now? I'm gonna make myself a little smaller. There we go. I, I think I'm okay. Of course. You've thrown mind-altering substances at dogs and made deals and translated arcane languages and taken flights all the time. It's a second nature to you. You are, as they say, in your element. Brain damage notwithstanding. <laughs> I'm probably suffering from catastrophic brain damage. Relax for as long as you need to. This airport is undergoing renovations, so things will be quiet for a while. No one will bother you. When you're feeling up for it, meet me on Beachwell. I'll be waiting in the middle of that big concourse leading to the Greater Lighthouse. I have to get back to my job with R and Dog. <laughs> like R and D. <laughs> you know how it is. The big project can't exactly wait. Of course. I'm glad the giant piano didn't break your head. Happy anniversary. I love you, weirdo. Love you too, weirdo. See you on Beachwell. I like Krista, but I'm locked in a box. Hello? Look at that sweet one. Oh, this is, this is gonna be a great game. I have a funny feeling this is gonna be a great game. Okay, so run is, oh, I see, I see, I see. Interact is X, scroll inventory, don't have an inventory. Pet is why. That is the most important. Um, can I jump? I can. <laughs> can I eat the cake? No. Is there fall damage in this game? No. Hello, witness dog. is very good. <laughs> You're so sweet. Can I talk to you? I can. Oh, oh uh, sup. Did you watch me and my fiance get kidnapped by a seven foot tall dog? 
<laughs> Listen, I am very small. I don't get involved. <laughs> the audio is killing me. <laughs> when I see a cute anniversary dinner turn into a hostage situation and a possible concussion, I stay quiet. You thought we were cute? I mean, sure. <laughs> you seem to have a really positive relationship. Except for when the woman you were with dived across the platform at the slightest sign of danger. <laughs> as far as looks, you're both fine, I guess. Kind of five out of ten for my tastes. <laughs> you can stop talking about how cute we think you think we are now, thanks. Look, I just want to live my quiet life quietly watching other people get in trouble. If anyone asks, this conversation didn't happen. Oh, okay. Bye. One more pit. Nice. Very sweet. Very good dog. All right. So we're hmm. A plane. I bet there is fall damage if I fall off that. That's not the time. <gasps> Puppies. Hello. Pedos ped pedestrian. I just, I want frosted tips, man. I'm tired of being a dog and not having frosted tips. That's all you have to say? I'm gonna pet you. You're very sweet. This is my dream, just being able to play a game where I pet dogs. Let's go talk to, oh my goodness, hi. You're so cute. Oh. That's a different dog now. Hello, I have short-term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to Beachwell? I sure do. I need 50 of them. I'm just gonna go with yes, please. Here you go. Enjoy your flight. I've opened a gate to the rest of the airport for you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. I, it's very confusing that you change. My hand changes too. This is intriguing. <laughs> Give me that. Okay, great. Hello. Oh. It's a joke about like pedestrian. Pedogstrian. I get it. I get it now. I forgot to get bag insurance. I don't have any bags, but it feels like a missed opportunity. It's okay. You'll be okay. You're very sweet. I need you guys to know that um, also when I pet the dogs, um, there is, it does like vibrate the controller. So you feel like you really are petting a dog. Wow, that's a language that I don't understand. Where am I supposed to go? Looks like I have to go to the second gate. Um. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Hi! A photo dog! <gasps> I want a picture! Whoa! You look incredible. Thank you. I would ask to take your picture, but we've all got places to go and cool things to do, man. If you need a red passport, though, you can use my photo booth. All I need is a fancy bottled... Fancy bottled toilet water. You know. For a good reason. I'll come back when I do. I'll see you later, gorgeous buddy friend. Okay. I'll give you a pet while I'm here. Sweet one. You have a picture of yourself on the wall <laughs> behind you. That's hilarious. I love it. This is... I was really hoping that was going to be a dog. Um, instead of a woman in the dress with the- that'd be funny. Unknown languages was part of the trailer. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I think that's- I mean, it's- I'm sure it's going to factor in at some point. Hello, airport manager! You are so cute! Greetings. I apologize that you have to see Phobos in this state. This is Phobos? <laughs> 
We're currently undergoing major renovations, so the next time you arrive here, things should be sustainably altered. We prefer to be seen as charming, rather than, uh, <laughs> broken. I'm not the typical information dog, but since Claudio still isn't here, we'll have to do. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I have so many questions. He looks a little young to be an airport manager. He sure does. Um, I'll start at the top. How do I find my the gate for my flight? Compare the alien language around you to your boarding pass. I believe you'll soon find your fun. You'll soon find your path. What about the signs? Oh yeah, we do have those. Use that. Okay. Is the airport teleporter still operational? There's a teleporter. Renovations aside, absolutely. I like adventure, but I'm not a big fan of death. <laughs> you should be able to teleport to a point of safety from your menu at any time. And if you fall off the edge of one of our admittedly eccentric creations, that teleportation will occur automatically. Oh. Do dog airports renovate often? In a sense. The layouts tend to remain recognizable, but the stores alone change so much. Every time I go to an airport, some old favorite is closed down, a familiar slate of storefronts is shifted, or there's some new friendly face to meet. It keeps the magic of travel alive. <laughs> that constant change within a familiar, comfortable package is what makes is what made me want to work in airports. And here I am. What's with the, what's with the fire hydrant? Is there a fire hydrant? I actually don't know. It certainly is large. Claudio, our usual information dog, will probably be able to provide more context the next time you decide to visit our corner of the universe. Enjoy your trip. And don't be a stranger. I sure won't. Sweet boy. Okay. Let's try this. Wee. Yeah, we do just teleport right back, huh? I like the noise it made, though. Let me out. Oh. I have no shadow. The ticket, however, does. I love it. <laughs> oh, I ran into a wall reading chat. Haha, <laughs> what a surprise. I've done worse before. Uh, hello, Ro-Rose. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. You can turn the vo uh, game volume up? Okay. Yeah, it is a little low, right? Let's see how, uh... If I talk to him again real quick, is the in is it really loud if I'm talking at the same time that the noise is playing? I'm gonna try this again for audio purposes. Let me know if it's because the dialogue is significantly louder than the little background music that plays. So I say dialogue. It's like a little. I'm good. Okay, cool. Give me things in the. I just threw away my ticket. Damn it. Give it back! It really says... I can just... You're not a dog. Doc Parader here. <laughs> Who would you like to call? Krista Marshall, please. You got it. I've hit her voicemail. Would you like to hear it? Yeah. Prepare for a little distortion, sir. This does have to pass through dog wavelengths. Stand by. Hi. If you're calling this number, you're probably not a dog. Even dogs prefer texting to a phone call. So, to my fiancé, hey weirdo. I love you. And for what it's worth, I'm glad you called. I'll be back soon. 
No, you say it first this time. I love you, weirdo. That's so, they're so cute. That's adorable. I'm gonna go try to get another ticket and then maybe I'll give my mom a call. Bounce, 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 bounce. I threw my ticket away, sir. Can I have another? <laughs> I don't know if I have money in this game. Hello, I have short-term memory loss. I do need a boarding pass. And I need 50 of them. So you wish to live dangerously. <laughs> yes. Thanks! How many can I pick up? All of them. I can pick up all of them. This game is amazing. I'm obsessed. <laughs> now I can trash. Oh. Uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Just trying to pick up the ones that you've already handed me. You really do have short-term memory loss then if you uh, forgot that you just handed these to me. Thank you so much, Doug. You're... Oh, the hand still shows up on the other side. That's funny. Thank you for providing me. So many of these, wow. This is great. <laughs> Woo! Look at how many I have! I can go anywhere! <laughs> I can be anything! Just not a dog that runs the airport, apparently. English doesn't make sense a lot of the time, it's true. Hello. You're the cabinet dog. That does track. There's, there sure are a lot of cabinets in here. You sell cabinets at the airport? I'm gonna cut to the chase. I bought a lot of cabinets. And by a lot, I mean every single cabinet I could find. For years, I have done this. I am a mariner drowning in a sea of cabinets. And I have created this ocean because I am Poseidon. And I don't know what this metaphor means anymore, but I'm still talking. Suffice to say, I have so many cabinets. Please save me from my cabinets. Buy a cabinet. Buy several cabinets. <laughs> this game is exactly my type of humor and really everything I've ever wanted in a video game. This is amazing. Who made this? I would like them to, to receive an award. <laughs> oh, you see the airport manager? Yeah, it sounds like you're lagging a little bit, Yang. I'm sorry. Maybe, um... Maybe for people who have lag issues, um, because I know Yang has this, but other people sometimes do too. Um, sometimes the VOD is just easier to watch, or if you... It'd be nice if there was a way on, like, like on YouTube, there's a way to, um, if there's a live, you can, like, fast forward to the beginning of the live, even when it's still happening. So it's still kind of just, like, a recorded video at that point. But with Twitch, you kind of either have to watch it live or watch it later. But, anyway, why cabinets? Why look at a sunset? It's just beautiful. <laughs> But you, do you need to look at all the sunsets? That is a very good point. But I really, really like cabinets. I'll take one of the cabinets off your hands. I would take more, but I'm sorry. I, I don't know if I can save you. <laughs> We're both doing the best that we can, and that's all that we can do. Thank you. Now take the cabinet before I'm tempted to get a new one. A genuine cabinet. Thank you. Oh, wait. I'll pet you with my free hand. A couple times, because you need it. Bye, cabinet dog. Oh, I can throw things. This game is everything. This game is everything. I'm just gonna leave these here, because I, I really only need my genuine cabinet and one ticket. Oh, my cabinet! Okay. We'll grab, we'll grab like 
four, just in case. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're the developer? Rit Nelson. I was literally just saying, I am obsessed with this game. This is amazing. This is exactly my type of humor. I love it so much. Thank you for popping in. Oh my God. I, I'm gonna recommend this to everybody. This game is so cute. It is so fun. I like just started, but I'm having a great time. Another Pidog stream. Gonna be honest, I am completely lost right now. That's fair. I mean, me too. I just bought a cabinet from a very shady, uh, I don't know what kind of dog that was. Like a wolf, basically. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a pet though. Very sweet. Oh, the bathroom. They have <laughs> hydrants instead of urinals. <laughs> oh, I'll take that. Sure, why not? Well, I do have one. I can get more toilet paper, okay. I need to find toilet water. Just annihilate my things in the garbage can again. Um, oh, I might be able to find some toilet water here. Hello, bartender dog. Gotta pet every dog. Have you hit the pet button repeatedly? I have. <laughs> I think I, I got the, um, the one achievement that I think it was pet uh, five dogs in a sitting or something. I will hit the pet button repeatedly on, on, on the bar bartender, though. Welcome to the back end. It's named that because butts are on the back of your body. You're, you're not wrong. I've been told it's extremely funny. <laughs> now I see what you're thinking. You want to drink from your own toilet bowl, don't you? Well, consider this a home away from home. A place to forget your troubles, stick your head underneath a hygienic and delicious tap of premium toilet water, and lap that sucker up. <laughs> <laughs> what can I get you, my friend? Um, when in Rome, you know? What varieties of toilet water do you recommend? I don't want to offend anyone here. Oh, well, you basically can't go wrong where toilet water is involved, but I prefer a modern bowl paired with an aged reservoir. <laughs> this is so fun. What's your taste with a modern edge? That's the good stuff, buddy. You could always drink from the bathroom, but... Where's the fun in that? Where's the ambience, man? That's why I like working here. You see a thousand faces, and they're all happy to see you. Because you care about the same thing. Also, they're dogs. That's a valuable perspective. I really appreciate it. He looks so satisfied. <laughs> he does. Least I could do, my friend. You enjoy that premium toilet water now. Did I get some? Did I get some? Did you give me some? No. Oh, ha 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 ha. Oh! There you go. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Hello. <laughs> there was a skeleton hand in there, too. Amazing. Amazing. I'm an experienced petter now. <laughs> this is very exciting. Pet any dog at any time with infinite hands. That is amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Bark Tender. Off to go deliver this toilet water. This is the perfect game to watch during finals. This is the perfect game. Period. I love this. I don't even know if I need a passport, but I want to get one. Hello, photo dog. I'm obsessed that uh, with the fact that all the hands are different, too. You can also pet almost any dog-shaped object in the game, including the urinal of the bathroom. I did pet the garbage can before. I <laughs> discovered that. Super fun. I love this. What is the... Uh -huh. It is so good to see you again, my gorgeous buddy friend. How are you? Got that fancy bottle of toilet water you wanted. Oh, awesome. I'll put this to... <laughs> Very good use. Oh. <laughs> Enjoy the passport photos. Shine, baby. Ooh. Take a picture of me. Oh, no, that's a jump button. 
How many can I get? Dogs do not care about fraud. You can have as many passports as you want. <laughs> oh, wait. Thank you. Appreciate you, photo dog. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> The vending you can pet the vending machines too. Oh, cause there's a dog on him. I need to make sure I pet every dog. Oh, I was gonna call my mother. I already called Krista. Dog parader here. Who would you like to call? I'd like to call my mom, thanks. You got it. I'm sorry, sir, but that number seems to be out of service. No! Oh, yeah, I know. Thanks, Doc Parader. Oh. The framing's a Hot Fuzz reference. The infamous shot where Timothy Dalton is smiling in front of a picture of Timothy Dalton. <laughs> I love it. And yet the dogs are not cats. I know because I voiced the cats. And the redacted. Oh, you, oh there's cats. <laughs> This game is, is everything. I love this. Can I drink this? I don't remember which one interact is. Oh, nope, I threw it. I can't remember. I can drink it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> An ATM? Give me money. Oh! I don't even have to do anything. Oh, it's stuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll take the money. Thank you. Take the money and run. Dollar dollar bills. <laughs> Is that what it said? <laughs> yeah, dollar dollar bills. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. We run it. <laughs> It's not an airport unless it has one of those um, freaking conveyor belt things. Hi, Camilla. Hello. Have you visited a time zone before? I mean, I guess. I, I feel like no. I don't know if we're talking about the same sort of time zone. I don't think so. Not a problem. <laughs> Being new to something just means you can reveal a new piece of yourself in the process. I love it. The time zone is a pocket of distorted time space tucked within three cozy walls so we aren't flayed by the unleashed forces of entropy. Step inside and you can watch time fly by. Literally. It goes so fast. Uh, that does sound great and terrifying, but I would like to know what I should keep in mind while using it. Please try not to use any time-altering substances while inside the space ripple. Stuff gets weird. Stuff gets dangerous. For a single moment, infinity spirals out before you. And I'll be honest, I'm too old to deal with that mess at this point. Yeah, don't use time-bendy things at the same time. Otherwise, enjoy the ride. I will! Thank you! This is... What was that noise? I do not know what. Hold on, pause a second. For some reason, uh, Rit Nelson, your last chat was held because of butt. <laughs> Just funny. Apparently, I have a uh, very strict auto mod on right now. Um, you were the lead developer, but you had a lot of incredibly talented folks who folks who contributed to the game at one point or another. That's so cool. That's awesome. If this was space engineer, some money would glitch out and then send the entire airport spinning into oblivion. <laughs> oh, you have a Timothy Dalton pick reference? Okay, hold on. Can you guys see that? 
Oh no. There it is. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. I love it. I'm using a controller. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right, Steam. Everything's fine. The conveyor belt thing was an enormous pain in the butt to build. At first, we simulated a real conveyor. But the physics of simulating various kinds of directional resistance nearly broke our brains in the process. Oh my gosh. Once we decided to just say, uh, to say just to heck with it and let conveyor belts make you faster in both directions, a big piece of how we thought about the world clicked. Yeah, I have. We. I'm gonna miss my. F I'm gonna do it one more time so I don't talk over the sound effect because that sound effect sounds great. But I'm gonna miss my flight. I have. I. I don't even know when my flight is. <laughs> oh. Well, I missed that one. I guess <laughs> is just uh, what that means. I like that it's on fire. Wee. I was like, why can't I switch from the the passport? It's because I have like ten of these. Hold on. Hold on. I need one, I think. Okay. It says 13, 14. Oh, the time. Yes, the time. Yes, the time. I, yes, I can read. Badog Stin, hello. If I had a dollar for every time I heard a fellow bark at a passing plane, I would be extremely worried and seek help. <laughs> what? <laughs> Passport clerk dog and boarding clerk dog. Hello. Hello. Your plane is ready to take off, but I'll need your red passport first. Here's my passport. That wrap things up. Unfortunately, this isn't the passport you need. Oh, I need to, yeah. Come by the Photoshop. I know the manager. He'd be delighted to help you. Hold on. There we go. Here's my passport. Fantastic. That's all I'll need. If you've already turned in your boarding pass, you should be able to fly. Have an excellent day. Wait, but I don't know if I'm ready to fly yet. Yeah, I got time. I got time. Was there anything else to explore? Yes, there was. Hello, anxious dog. Me. <laughs> Listen. I'll do anything you ask. <laughs> Just don't tell my boss that I peed on the headphone tree. Oh no, it's okay. <laughs> I won't say anything. In that case, at puppy school, I cheated on the obedience test. <laughs> when I was 11, I stole a fire truck. The whole thing? I have seven false passports and a squeaky toy in my closet, ready to go if the law catches up with me. <laughs> Sometimes I fart when I'm talking to a customer, and I don't say excuse me because I'm hoping they di didn't notice, but it was really loud, so they absolutely noticed. And there's a hitch in conversation where we're both forced at. Acknowledge that I'm a coward who pretends not to have a butt to save myself. 0 0.2 seconds of embarrassing confession. I'm not sure I love my wife anymore. Also, I'm a dog. I think that last one is a biggie, to be honest. More. More secrets. I'm good now. I have no more secrets. I am invincible. You still saw music? Oh, yes. Welcome to Cryptid Karaoke. <gasps> you guys can't see it. I have a podcast. It's called Cryptid Cape. Anyway. Just wanted to share. <laughs> the only supernaturally themed record shop that I know of. I love it. Our selection is currently entirely Mothman themed, but I'm hoping to get into stock of Slide Rock Bolter albums too <laughs> soon. Very niche stuff. Kids love it. I'll take a Mothman album. Absolutely. Fantastic. Mothman appreciates your support. I'm- uh, wait. What? 
I love it. Look at all the records. He's still playing. <laughs> all right. I got my Mothman CD. I'm ready to fly. <laughs> Thank you so much for resubscribing, Charlie. Hello, how you doing? Um, took you around 20 months to make the game part-time. That's amazing. I, I have very, very briefly dabbled in game design. And by very briefly, I mean I like opened Unity and played around with it for a few days and then was so confused. Um, I had to give up. Bribe dog. <laughs> um, but that's amazing. Uh, the line about anxious dog not being sure when he loves his wife anymore. When we showed the game at events in the before times, parents would play this with their kids and occasionally laugh very hard at that line and immediately return to normal. <laughs> I think about those couples sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> You've discovered the dog mod system. Throwing some items at dogs will modify them in unique ways that are also used to solve certain quests. So now you can make any dog play the saxophone. Condolences slash congratulations. Amazing. Yes. I love it. <laughs> hey, friend. You can see my name. I sure can. I can see my name. We know what's happening here. We know what's up. We know that real business. I'm bribe dog, baby! <laughs> and I need something to hold all my bribes! A container of some kind. A wardrobe or bin or cabinet or something. Oh, thank God. Does he look familiar? Hold on, I have to grab the container. Then it sounds like you need to find a container. Better hop to it, friend. Oh, 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 sorry. Sorry, did that already. <laughs> Here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did you give me a container for my bribes? Oh, I sure did. Is this what you wanted? Oh, thanks, friend. And I didn't even have to ask. Wait, bribe dog. I already gave you a container. I'm not greedy, buddy. I'm corrupt. <laughs> Boarding clerk dog. Your pilot is drunk and ready for takeoff. Hand me your boarding pass and we'll get going. I'm not sure I'm comfortable having a drunk pilot. Oh, you don't understand. Our pilots have to be drunk. They're dogs. The sky is so big and they are so small. I don't think this is my gate though. I think the other one was my gate. Even though bribe dog is fun. I think... Are they still going in there? Oh yeah, wow. Hello. My pilot's still drunk and ready for takeoff. <laughs> um, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Here's my boarding pass. Thank you for trusting your drunk pilot. They appreciate your kindness. Their one job is to bear witness, and you are helping. Make sure you've supplied whatever my associate needs. And please, have a wonderful flight. <gasps> Hell yeah! Roast a little like bopping along. <gasps> I'm in the plane. Hi! Hacker dog. I've heard about dog hackers. What do you do? I'm glad you asked. Most dogs just ask me if the mechanical keyboards taste as good as they look. When dogs moved into galactic responsibility, a lot of the alien tech we found accepted us like we'd always been there. The exceptions are why they call me in. I tap into biometric systems and alien geometry to find out how to make it work for all of canine kind. Along the way, we might even figure out why the tech was first created. I do something new every day. I love it. Do the keyboards taste as good as they look? Yeah, they do, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> oh, okay, time to land. Drunken pilot sounds Russian. Oh my gosh. 
No comment. Hacker dog? Friend? Well, hold on. Are they an ethical hacker dog? Eh, they seem fine. Wow! I'm at the beach now! <gasps> I want to go swim in. Oh, I can go down there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Can I jump from here? I bet I can. Well, I have to walk all the way back up. I can handle that. Whee! Hell yeah! Let's go! <laughs> Amazing! I'm going to come and explore this. There's a shop down there, huh? I love this. Oh, can I knock it back up? Shoot. Oh, no. There's an elevator. Hell yeah. I would like to- Oh. Whee! Take me up, please. Thank you. This was the first level bit for the game. I love this. It's so beachy. The planes, <laughs> the planes over there look wild. <laughs> Hello, take a dog. Hello. I have short-term memory loss. Need a boarding pass to Elf Planet? I guess. Sure. Here you go. Enjoy your flight. I guess that's where I'm going next. I have so much money. I don't need all this money. Oops. Do I need two passports? Do I need three passports? Probably not. Oh, that's... Okay. Alright. I might need one of these, though. Okay. I'm ready to bribe. Oh, lots of ticket dogs. Hi, hi. Oh, 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 oh. Just kidding. Each ticket dog has a different place that I can go to. <laughs> no, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Hello. The Mariana... Oh no, I'm sorry. The Marinara Trench. Oh man. Oh, I have so many places I can go. The Uranus joke is very funny. I can't get up here. Boo. If I ever feel lost, pressing the menu button and checking the pepper decks will tell you the next stage of a quest and track what unique dogs you've met. <gasps> wow. The pupper decks. Cool. Krista. Heart. Fact, brilliant scientist. Hobbies, listening to Mothcore. Hell yeah, I got her a vinyl. That's good. <laughs> I love my wife. <laughs> um, location, Beachwell. I'm surprised Krista with a catered dinner. I'm surprising Krista with a catered dinner at our next meeting, courtesy of Cage Dog. That didn't go well. The dog who loves cages is <laughs> a bit intimidating, but I think Krista will love it. None of this is suspicious at all. Krista had to remind me how my basic motor functions work after cage dog trapped us in a cage. Should have seen that coming. We're supposed to reconnect in the Beachwell airport on the main concourse. Cool. All right. Ooh. All right. I have a lot of dogs to meet, clearly. All right, I was checking out chat for a second. We all are talking to each other, so. All right. Oh boy, I do wanna, it is so tempting, but I'm gonna restrain myself for a second. Hello, Pedogstrian. I have nothing to say, and I am choosing to believe that this is a good thing. Okay. That's fine. I'm gonna pet you anyway. Sweet, sweet boy. Alright. 
I guess that's actually uh, kind of it up here. Let's go to the mall. <laughs> oh my God. I see a dog with very large muscles over there and I'm very excited to meet him. <laughs> Wee. Bebuffstrian. <laughs> I don't smell butts. I smell glutes, bro. <laughs> I am so I was gonna I was planning on playing this game. Will I drown? Probably not. Um I was planning on playing this game. Uh whether or not I played it on stream. And my main Hello. My main conflict was like, is this spacey enough to be on like teach astronomy? Is this like <laughs> sciencey enough? And then I realized I don't care. This is my channel. <laughs> I can do what I want. And I want to play the dog game. And I am very glad that I'm playing this on stream. Very glad. Hi, Texas dog. How you doing? Hello, and welcome to High Stakes. Named after our delightful mascot, Roger. Who you can see hanging from a very thin thread directly above us. I did see him. In case it isn't clear, Roger is very much alive. <laughs> I'm from New Jersey. <gasps> I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> Texas dog. Why is you? Why are, why are you from New Jersey? <laughs> How can I help you? Aren't you from Texas? Nope. I'm from South Dakota. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> What's Roger's deal? Roger is a bovine entrepreneur and performance artist. One day, he looked in the mirror and realized that he was made of meat. We are all made of meat. And you're not wrong. Also, he realized that if he dangled himself from the ceiling of a nice restaurant slash squeaky toy supplier, he could call the business High Stakes. The rest is history. Huh. I guess I'll try one of those squeaky toys. Enjoy. Go Brooklyn. A squeaky salami. Yay. Want another meat flavored, meat scented, meat like squeaky toy? Uh, not right now. Cool. Feel free to come back if you change your mind, which is also made out of meat. You are again. Not wrong. Hello, sir. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have not pet you. Or maybe I did. I don't know, but I'll do it again. Texas, New Jersey, South Dakota. Dog. Hello. Go Brooklyn. I can't pet you. That is shocking. Well, thank you. I love all the stores. Cacti? <gasps> Hi! The flower dog. He's got a little sweater. <laughs> you don't remember writing that line? Was that the glutes line? <laughs> it's very funny. The quantum dog. They're from everywhere all at once. <laughs> you like flowers? I like flowers. I like flowers. Welcome to Borkchids. <laughs> the friendly neighborhood flower shop for all your flower shopping needs. If you want a bouquet, I would be delighted to sell you one. However, if you would simply like to smell the flowers for free, I encourage that as well. You deserve it, you know? What's your favorite flower smell? Oh, sunflowers are my favorite by far. If you sniff long enough and hard enough, your nose will get really hot. <laughs> oh. And if you keep sniffing, the seeds will fly out of the flower and up your nose and into your mouth. You'll hack up a bit, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, flower dog. It keeps the seeds from getting in your lungs. So, now you've got all these sunflower seeds, roasted by your nose heat, just sitting in your mouth. And you can just chew away. Thanks, thanks for the tip. <laughs> just sharing the knowledge where I can. Thanks for asking, buddy. I'll give something a sniff. Can I, can I give it a sniff? I guess I am giving it a sniff, huh? Is 
They're very nice. Very nice flowers. I would like a bouquet. Can I grab a vase? I would like a bouquet, please. Hello again, flowers on your mind? A vase. Enjoy the flowers and let me know if I can help with anything else. You have a good one. Oh. How cute. Good boy. What happens if I throw money at you? Oh shoot, I lost the money now. Oh no, I can get back here. Haha. <laughs> Just kidding. I need it back. <laughs> what if I throw it at you? No. <laughs> He's like, I'm here for my art and my art only. I don't need the money. Oh my gosh! You're here again! Whoa! You look incredible! I would ask to take a picture, but we've all got places to go and cool things to do, man. If you need a red passport, though, you can use my photo booth. All I need is a toilet paper. You know. For a good reason. I do have a toilet paper. But I also already have a passport, so I'll come back if I burn mine in a garbage can. Which is actually conveniently right here. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to pet him. As is customary. What's down here? I love this game. I love this game so much. It's wonderful. Oh no, the shop's closed. What else is there? Hi! Glasses up! Welcome to the light show! Now, you strike me as a chandelier type of guy. Is that about right? I've enjoyed my share of chandel- sh My share of chandeliers. <laughs> as have I. Think about chandeliers? They're a public menace. Oh, okay. More humans died from tragic chandelier incidents every year than shark attacks, plane crashes, and slipping on banana peels combined. Wow. I'll believe that. Sure, I'll believe this dog. Chandeliers might have destroyed the human race. We don't know. I thought I was human. Or am I an alien? Maybe I'm an alien. The only reason that a chandelier hangs over our heads as we speak is to tempt fate. This is a horrible sales pitch. Are you trying to sell me a murder weapon? If safety dog that There's a safety dog? Oh, I'm so excited. If safety dog asks... No. They are very... They are very near my head. Although, I'm... I hand... I, I was able to... Handle a, uh... Uh... Piano on my head? So I think a chandelier. I, I don't think it'll kill me. I am human. Okay. One lamp you can throw or use for decoration or something? Yeah. Enjoy. Thank you. I can make them sparkle. This lamp is just a, a ball of pure light energy. I love it. Muscled Sandy. Balls, balls, balls. It's what we sell and it's what I love. Tennis balls are our most popular item. Want one? Can I have another type? Are you... Are you committed to the name? Listen. I will not apologize for my love of balls. Fair. None of you. If any of you try to take that out of context. I'll take one tennis ball, please. Thank you. You're very much welcome. Let me know how it goes. That's a good one. Thank you. Hell yeah, physics! Oh no, I lost it. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> Shoot. Oh wait, did it go back? Haha! -ha. Whee! Oh, sh oh wow, I have a powerful throw! Oh my god, bye! 
<laughs> I love this game. Can I have another one, please? <laughs> one tennis ball, please. <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. I know. I threw it so far la the last time. It was really exciting. Another photo dog. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The photo dogs have a monopoly on this mall. This airport mall. Can I get coffee? Here's this little coffee shop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hi, barista dog. Place is called Coffee Boy, and I do and I do the coffee stuff. Got an order? Oh, so many options. Oh, poor Yang. <laughs> Yang's very, very behind. But I'm still going. I still have an hour, so. Okay, the options are one coffee, black, vanilla latte, one pump, two shots of espresso, and a caramel drizzle. Ochenta quadruple shot caramel macchiato, low froth, cream double whipped, one sprinkle cinnamon. Isn't coffee poisonous for dogs? And no, I think I'm good. I don't want to make it too complicated. But like, I am drinking a... I, have, I actually have been making myself... Um, go ahead and judge me. Uh, blueberry, um, oat milk lattes, which is kind of fire. I'm so sorry, Grant. <laughs> Give me a vanilla latte. Hmm, a little tricky. Oh, look, I did it. <laughs> Thank you. It fell behind the counter, but I, I'll grab it. <laughs> Thank you. Will this make me go faster? Turbo speed! <laughs> I'm flying! I don't need a plane! I can just run there! Woo! <laughs> I love everything about this. Hello. Tall umbrella. Whoa, you're a tall one. I bet you get rained on a lot with your head all in the sky like that. Want an umbrella? Sure. You want an umbrella? You get an umbrella. Oh, Jesus. Good luck out there. <laughs> Thank you. Now I have an umbrella. Now I have an umbrella and I can run. Okay. Is this going to compound too much? Oh, I'm going fast. Wee. <laughs> Hi, Camilla. I have visited a time zone before. Ah, I'll shut up then. No, no, no. Enjoy your adventures with decay and obsolescence. I'm sorry, Camilla. I love you, Camilla. Flower dog. Okay, there's a couple shops that I've been in already. But I do want to make sure I pet all the puppos. <gasps> a bookstore. I love bookstores. They're my favorite. Hi, Frederick. Uh, oh, hey, you got through the maze. That's neat. Oh, did you not want me to? <laughs> Are you kind of like anxious dog? The most complicated order is based on your dad's real life Starbucks coffee order. I didn't tell him ahead of time. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's so funny. My dad drinks coffee constantly. Because he's Cuban and he's had coffee since he was like four. And so it doesn't do anything for him anymore, but he still drinks it. Um, and on the very rare occasion that I want to go to Starbucks when I'm home visiting, um, he will go with me. And every single time, even though this man drinks like, not black coffee, but like normally just has like Folgers with like, Lynn Jersey, you know, what does he have? Like half and half, a little bit of half and half. He doesn't put sugar in it, I don't think. And, um... Honey, he does honey or something, but just like very basic, whatever's in the house kind of thing. And then we go to Starbucks and he gets a caramel macchiato, just milk now. Okay, yeah, just like milk, but he gets a caramel macchiato when we go out, and it's his exciting, it's ex it's his exciting fun coffee. <laughs> 
I think it's funny. You got through the maze, that's neat. I've got a book to get back to, but I'm happy to help if there's something I can help with. Why the maze? It's a pretty interesting story, but if you don't need anything just now, I, I have a book I'd like to get back to. That's understandable. I am looking for a book though. Give me something unique. So it might be kinda sorta inf- Oh yes! Infected with dark magic! Watch out for that, okay? Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Hi, Camilla. Can I test something on you, Camilla? Oh, interesting. Oh, I can just use it though. Okay, 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 okay. This is fun. <laughs> Hey, buddy! Thank you for the- thank you for the Mothman album. Uh, oh, ooh! Welcome to Orb. We sell Orb. We are Orb. And of course, Orb is. Orb is. <laughs> How can Orb inhabit your life today, my friend? Uh, what, what, what is Orb exactly? Orb is. Everything you are, everything you were, everything you will be. It's Orb, man. It's all Orb. Orb is. A multi-level marketing scheme. <laughs> Is Orb the Void? Are we standing inside Orb right now? <laughs> That's a good question, man. You're a funny guy. Are we standing inside Orb? Classic. Huh. Can I jump into- This has, um... End of, uh, Outer Wilds energy. Orb is! Welcome to Orb. Against my better judgment, I'll have Orb. Enjoy. Oh god. Orb certainly enjoys you. Oh, it's the- oh, okay. Oh, you're still sparkling? Um... We're gonna save that. <laughs> oh my gosh, what am I doing? I'm forgetting the most important part of this game. Thank you, Orbo. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh hey, you say the word? Now put a guitar in your hands faster than it takes you to realize that you like the idea of playing an instrument more than actually playing it. <laughs> you had a player scream upon entering Orb. It did spook me a bit, but... <laughs> Grant and I played Phasmophobia the other day, so... <laughs> um, hexing people, are we? Do we need to call the Ministry? <laughs> Frederick is an introvert. Frederick just wants to read. I kid, of course. Unless you do know this pain. I do. I do know this pain. <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere? Have I? <laughs> Maybe. I was at a band called Ruffled Shirts. Big hair, lots of scarves. It was ridiculous. Fun, though. You're a former rock star? Wow. Nothing former about it, babe. If you truly had it, you never lose it. Consider me corrected. <laughs> you have a good day, man. I'll take a guitar. You going to take a plunge for the guitar? Yeah, let's do it. My man! Good luck, buddy. Oh.
Hell yeah. Oh my gosh, there's two competing stores. Have a nice seen you somewhere? Next door. <laughs> Glam rock was a hell of a thing. At one point, we promoted the band with the slogan, Burn Our Records. It was super popular. Unfortunately, it meant that everyone burned our records. We kind of forgot consequences existed in the 80s. I'm much more chill now. Glad to hear it. Buddy, I'm glad to be living it. Thank you, Rima. It's confusing to me that you exist in two places next door to each other at once, but you know what? I'm vibing it. I'm loving it. Forgot to pet this version of Rima. Cannot forget. Will not forget. Will play my guitar as I walk. Do I have a guitar? Okay. I feel like the flower guy might enjoy the guitar. Hell yeah! Shred flower dog! Shred flower dog! <laughs> okay. I couldn't think of a better dog to try this on. All done. All done. Oh, 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 come back. No, come back, come back, come back, come back. Orb, 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 no. Ah. Come back. I can't grab it. I can't grab it quick enough. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye, orb. I'll always love you. Anyway. Oh, it made y'all sparkly, though. That's funny. <laughs> cabinet dog! <laughs> Hi, cabinet dog. Thank you for selling me a cabinet. Apparently I needed it. Hi, photo dog. Flower dog. Actually, um... Do you want an umbrella? No, I'm just hitting you with an umbrella now. It's not really... It's kind of rude. I'm I'm sorry. You like flowers? I like flowers. We talked already. Well, I talked with your... I'm gonna take a bouquet as well. Oh, it's the same one. Okay. Thank you, flower dog. Oh. I don't know where the tennis ball went. That's okay. <laughs> Keep forgetting the most important part. Okay. I want to pet every dog. I don't know if there is an achievement for this, but I want to pet every dog. Hi, friend. Thank you. Ah. Okay. Got to get out of the maze. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Well, I am, oh, there's another muscle dog. Hell yeah. I'm assuming that they'll be the same calls, but I'll give Krista one more call. I think I know what it says. Thank you, though. <laughs> All right. Hello, muscle boy. Pabuff stream. No time to talk. I need someone to give me a sexy picture of a 40 pound barbell without asking questions. <laughs> okay. Bye, Pabuff stream. Buff stream. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that! 
Yes! Amazing! Hey, a little, little, little rovers and little orbiters and the rockets. Amazing, I love it. Little, little radio telescope. Adorable. Did you, um, Rit Nelson, did you get these, uh, 3D models from NASA? Because they do have 3D, I mean, they, I'm sure if you imported them into whatever you were using to get, uh, to code the game, they would have been massive files that you'd have to deal with, but. You like Gorby? Hi, nice to meet you. This is a gift shop. A, uh, space-themed one. I love it. Want a souvenir? Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Here you go. That's not the right button. I don't want to shoot anybody. I just throw it. Okay, well, okay. At least I can't shoot anyone with it. Gorby, tell me. Um. Did you just hand me a gun? What do you mean? You, you gave me a gun, Gorby. <laughs> oh, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, it is weird. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you smell scared for some reason. I can hear your heart beating faster. It's so clear, it's almost like I'm looking inside you. Are you scared? A bit, Gorby. Well, I hope you're doing okay otherwise. You know, accidents happen. Not helping, Gorby! <laughs> Gorby, why'd you give me a gun, Gorby? Uh, no. <laughs> That's okay, I'll see you later. Um. I'm afraid. Take it back. Okay. Huh. Well, I'm glad you can't really use it. <laughs> Thanks for the gun, Gorby. <laughs> Back away slowly from Gorby. <laughs> Thank you for making this game and for uh, popping onto my stream, Rit Nelson. So nice to have you here. And I really, I really do love this game. I'm gonna switch so <laughs> from the, the the inventory just in case anybody pops on. It's like, why are you holding a gun? Why are you, why are you holding a, a sweet doggo at gunpoint? Um. But yeah, thank you so much for chilling. Um, oh wait, before you go, have you guys made anything else or is this your first game? Because I am absolutely interested in checking out anything else you guys have made. Um, I don't know if Rit Nelson's still here, but let me know. Um, squinting well, I'm confused and excited. Yeah, welcome! <laughs> We're playing uh, an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. Um, are you bringing a loaded gun into a convenience store? No, 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 no. I'm bringing a flower pot into a convenience store. I'm not a criminal. Hello, clerk dog. I have an employee discount, but what am I supposed to spend it on? I can't wear anything here. I'll take one shirt, pair of shoes, whatever you're selling here. We sell shoes. The last delicacy. The good stuff. I'll take one of the good stuff then. Excellent choice. Thank you. They look great. I ate them. I put them on. I ate them. I can jump very high now. Interesting. Thank you. Can I? Oh. I was confused. I went into the wrong store. Hi, Rima. Again. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Yeah, I want another pair of shoes, please. Thank you. <laughs> These could be useful later. 
We'll keep the book of, well, we'll keep the, do you want a light? Beautiful. Um, ah, uh, yes, petting. Oh, right, that's what I was going to do, was pet you. Okay, bye-bye. I got big hops. Oh, cool, I can get another tennis ball. I'm not gonna read it this time. It's what we sell, it's what I love. Tennis balls are our most popular item, want one? Yes, please. Oh, can I have another type of ball? Let me think. No. Okay. All right, catch. Let me know how it goes, that's a good one. Thank you. I don't have the mad hops anymore, but I have boots. Pep off street. Bro, when my arms get big enough, I'm gonna do a pull up on the air itself and fly away. You just let me know if you wanna come, bro. I got you. Amazing. So I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Thank you, Miss Sandy. Alright. I love this game. I love it so much. Okay, that's actually to fly. And I'm not going there yet, so we'll come back to that. Let me up. No, okay. Do, 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 do. Information dog, hello. Welcome to Beachwell Airport. I'm Claudia. And yes, this airport is very vaporwave. Please don't please don't ask any further questions about it. Um What's a uh, vaporwave? I know what vaporwave is, but I want to hear what, he, what what Claudia says. Okay, I guess we're doing this. You know how sometimes you feel like learning how to juggle and studying classical architecture and maybe starting an electronic band named Welcome Wagon? And a few minutes later, you're like, man, I'm really glad I only did one of those three things. For some people, that moment where they realize they almost made several bad decisions comes 12 years from now after they've made several bad decisions. That's Vaporwave. Let us never speak of it again. Anything else I can help you with? That was the best. I love it. There's a boarding gate at the end of the pier. How do I use it? What boarding gate? Okay. Thank you. What boarding gate? There's no boarding gate. It's all in your mind. There are planes in the... <laughs> they're really good pilots here. The dogs, they're really, really good pilots. They really know how to land. They're very good at that. Especially. Hello, dog stream. A haiku for dogs. It describes the taste of bone. Award-winning work. Thank you for that. That was beautiful. Oh, we gotta go in the pool. I'm gonna talk to these guys first, and then I'm gonna go in the pool. Oh, do I want more money? Dollar dollar bills! Hell yeah! You want some dollar dollar bills, Pedogstrian? There you go. I keep thinking about the Mothman. Me too. It'll get better, I promise. I was there once. Orb! Orb! Give it to me. I need Orb. Excellent, thank you! Cabinet dog. Thank you! You got a little cat. Oh no, it's a fedora, I'm sorry. A penwarstrian. I spent so much time looking for a nemesis that I didn't ask myself whether I was ready to be a good to be a good nemesis. You gotta ask yourself the important questions. You're right. You're very serious. Just gonna do three hands at a time for you. You have a lot to think about. I don't wanna distract you. Nice talking to you. 
I like that your hat has a shadow, but you do not. That's very funny to me. Hello. What's your name? What? What? Pedogstry elf. When you're an elf dog. Oh, they're elf ears. <laughs> When you're an elf dog and you meet another elf dog, there's a special connection. I can't explain it. It just feels nice to meet someone else who gets it. I get that. Hello, you're so sweet. I will pet you all. Hello. So cute. Hello. Oh, you're new. Disgruntled dog. I hate briefcases. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. The snappy buckles and fiddly locks and rough handles and weird materials they put on the outside that gets messed up as soon as you use them. I mean, come on, man. What is even up with that? Love customers, though. Welcome to the briefcase outlet. It's an outlet for my feelings about briefcases and a method to continue distributing them into the world against my better judgment. Why don't you, uh, stop selling briefcases? I couldn't subject anyone else to this life. Fair enough. I do it so that others may not. It's a devil's bargain, and I've tried to make my peace with it. Makes sense. Just... Don't tell my kids. You have my word. I would like a briefcase. I do not recommend it, but I cannot stop you. I do not believe in briefcases, but I will take one. I perpetuate oblivion. Horrible briefcase. Thank you. Orb? Orbo? Have a briefcase. You don't like the briefcase either. That's fair. We don't need the briefcase. Maybe we will need a briefcase. Who knows? A janitor dog. Oh, hey, buddy. You're probably wondering why your board and pass igloos and fun little whatnots don't stick around when you leave the airport, huh? Or when you turn around. What? Or when you blink. What? It's because of me. Sorry about that. Oh, oh. Name's Janitor Dog. My parents were very literal. How long have you been working here? I'm not so much working here. Mm. I was working in every instance of an airport across the 274 known galaxies. They said I was the ideal candidate, so I dared them to clone me. And they did. Oh, they're all clones. So good. Worked out pretty great. Thank you, Janitor Dog. Did I pet Orbo? I don't know if I need it. Yeah, remember? Sweet boy, you. I can't get out. Okay. Alright. I got them all. Gotta pet them all, you know? Alright. Just a couple more. There's an elf dog on the other side. <laughs> Do I look like someone riddled with anxiety? <laughs> Oh no, I look like someone riddled with anxiety, don't I? Oh my goodness. My bones ache, kid. Probably from fighting in the wars. Oh. Which... which wars, old timer? All of them. Okay, there was one war that I missed, but that's just because I overslept and everyone in my platoon forgot to turn on their alarms. But that was a sleep war, so I guess we won that one either way. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Never was in any danger considering I was piloting a 30,000 pound cybernetically enhanced super mech. We're jacking into the mainframe that lies beneath all things to destroy the evils that haunt our soft, vulnerable reality takes a grim toll. Think I might go into restaurant management. 
What would you call your restaurant? 30,000 pounds cybernetically enhanced super mech. And sons. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> Hello! Dr. Dog! MD. Oh, hey, yeah, I'm a dog. If you're horribly injured, deathly sick, or just a little under the weather, I'll be giving you medical attention. You alright with that? I love when dogs give me medical attention. Settle down, buddy. I save lives here. If you hit a point where you'd like to save, I'd be happy to help. So, what you need today? Can I get some medicine? Sure thing. How sick are you feeling on a scale from one to eight extremely large bottles of pills? Just one sick, thanks. Here you go, man. Hope this helps. Thanks! I have mystery pills! What do I owe you for all this help? Wait, what you owe for getting medical attention? Like, what am I charging? Well, yeah. I... I'm not going to charge you for helping you get better, dude. I'm a dog tour, not a monster. Comment on... <laughs> Uh, not having universal health care. <laughs> you gotta go. You're in need of some sleep. All right, Rose. Rose have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Go get some sleeps. Thank you. How long have you been practicing? I try to practice a little bit every day. That's how you get better at things. <laughs> no, but seriously. I've got over a decade of experience. Do not question me. That's fair. I appreciate it. Come back anytime. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor Dog. You're lovely. It's back here. So many files. I guess I'll save. Can I not save? I took the pills. I'm feeling good, I guess. Let me just take a look here and done. The progress has been saved. And by progress, I mean life. Thank you. All right. Into the sea with us. We. There are dogs down here. Excellent. 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 It's another Penwarstian. Oops, I keep jumping too high. I guess the mystery pills weren't bad. <laughs> mystery pills are never bad. I take them all the time. <laughs> Free healthcare. Yeah. That's the most unrealistic part of this whole game. It's free healthcare. <sighs> not the dogs ready the airport or anything, but... I bought a really cool motorcycle, but then I realized I'm not cool enough to ride it. So these days, I just kind of stand next to it awkwardly. You can be cool enough to ride it. As long as you believe you're cool enough, then you're cool enough, I think. Hi, why are you under the sea? No comment. Just gonna skip this, because we already talked to him. Whee! Why are we underwater? This is... And no one... well... Being underwater is not that big of a deal. Why are we underwater and no one comment, <laughs> commented on it? That's funny. That's a bathroom. Okay. That's another bathroom. What is that? Oops. Press the wrong button. Cheek. 
What kind of pledge did I make there? What happened? What did I agree to? Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him. This is interesting. Hello. Do you know about this? Okay. Commune with the ghosts. You must kill the king who murdered Kai's father, Vicky. <laughs> Kai's father wasn't murdered. Was Kai's father murdered? That's a spoiler. New backstory, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> well, if they've been in space for 350 years now, Kai's dad's probably like for sure dead if they're heirloom humans, so. Although I guess weird cybernetics exist, so. I don't know. You can make whatever kind of backstory. You can you can mess with the backstory as much as you want, great. You are the game master. You have ultimate control. Ultimate power. What happens if I just... It's going the wrong way. Oh, 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 oh. Just gonna grab that. Whee! Hello, Pedog Stream. You can be many things, as long as the government doesn't catch you. You are absolutely right. Hi, Benny. Hi, Benny. Money. I can't pet this dog, right? I can! I've missed the ATM dogs. Shoot. Cybernetics are not weird. No, they're not. Um... Just like, like the, uh, I mean, in the world of, in the world of this D&D &D and space campaign, they're not weird. Magic. Have you played Cyberpunk 2077? There are some interesting cybernetics in there. Modern cybernetics are for sure just super cool. I say, cybernetics, I say. It's more like, um... I don't know what the word is. But, like... It's like advanced, um... Prosthetics, thank you. Like, advanced prosthetics. Super cool. Like, prosthetics that can, like... I don't know how that kind of stuff works, but, like, you know, you can have a prosthetic where you can, like, move your fingers. If you don't, I think you can call me on that if that's not correct, but I feel like that's a thing. That, that stuff's super cool. Um, I will proceed to search on incognito mode. <laughs> Flight isn't here yet. Gates closed. So you know when the gate will be ready? In some ways, isn't the flight always here? If we discount that time exists, yes. Otherwise, the attendants get here about 90 minutes before we take off. So you're waiting too? I'm always waiting, pal. I'll get what's coming to me eventually. No one escapes. Not really. Oh my. Hi, Maze. How you doing? We're playing a game called an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. Where we talk to dogs and we pet the dogs and, um... I got a human skull for some reason. We're, we're not sure why. Um, I also have a bunch of other things. I forgot about the guitar. Why is there a person? Rodney. Rodney the cursed dog. I am not who you think I am. I am not the successful Caucasian businessman known as Kevin Williamson III with two ex-wives and four children I see on alternate weekends. I am a dog 
named Rodney, trapped in a man's body. Ah, help me, help me, I don't want to be a human being anymore. Ah. How can I help? The ba- the ba- the Baba- the Baba dog. There we go. Instead of Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga dog. The Baba Yaga dog cursed me. She probably had a good reason. I don't know. All I know is my human business associate mind and it thinks I can reverse the curse if I have ingredients. We mix the right stuff in the right order and I'll be a dog again. A beautiful dog with beautiful fur and the ability to poop wherever I want without feeling bad about it. So can you get me a can of scarlet bovine soda? Start the process? Maybe fix me first try? I don't have any scarlet bovine. Oh, that's easy to fix. Get some. Okay. Scarlet bovine. Can I pet you? Still can. Still can pet him. Um, okay. With the... Wee. Who would have scarlet bovine? Cool. The developer was in before said that these work in the reverse way too. Sick. Um, Rodney sus. Doesn't he mean arf? <laughs> uh, why did the dogs end up running things? Um, we're not sure. It says currently run by dogs. It seemed like it's always run by dogs. But, you know, who's to say? Can I get stuff out of these? Oh, if I... If I throw money at it. Oh, shoot. Buy money. No. Okay. Oh, dispense! I found it. Soda. It's rolling. It's rolling. Okay. An artisanal toilet water. A squeaky salmon. Did I say salmon? Did I say a squeaky salmon? A squeaky salami. <laughs> and a soda. Is this a red bovine soda? I'm not sure. Some of these look different. Okay. Scarlet bovine. There we go. Great. Look at him roll. Look at him roll. <laughs> it's great. Okay. Let's go give him that scarlet bovine. Let's help him out. Maybe currently is not a statement about history, but a statement about the future. Literally just throwing money away. It's not like the dogs care about money, so we're good. One squeaky salmon stick, please. Squeaky salmon. A squeaky salmon. Oh, I could have been taking these, my bad. Wee. How do the cube roll? That's a great question. <laughs> I'm trashing the place. I needed a, I needed the scarlet bovine. This is very important. We gotta turn this guy back into a dog. Oh, that's not what I was supposed to do. I'm glad you like that so much though. Welcome back. You get that scarlet bovine soda yet? Hell yeah, this should be the soda you need. You got it. You got the soda. Okay, let's try the elixir. <gasps> Yay, we cured him. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Okay, that didn't work, but we learned something valuable in the process. Drinking a single energy drink will not remove a witch's curse. Going to have to do some flying search. I'm gonna have to do some flying search for the next ingredient we need. In the meantime, if you want office supplies, I'll be happy to give you some from my nest. 
every day I wake up in a nest of assorted office supplies that I did not purchase or want. It is the weirdest and most terrifying of this curse's side effects. Roger, Rodney the curse, but cured. <laughs> Thanks for the help, bro. No problem. Let me check my pupper decks, actually. Rodney. Cursed dog on beach well. Could really use some help. Rodney is cursed to live life as a human man with children and several ex-wives named Kevin Williamson. The soda didn't work, so he's going elsewhere to think about the next step to regain his human form. I wish him luck and appreciate that he's now offering to give me photocopiers from the office nest he wakes up in every morning. Whatever spell he's under, it's weird, man. Okay. Ah. Okay. Look at all the dogs that we haven't met yet, apparently. Okay. Cool. Chris is supposed to be here. And I'm a little confused because I don't see her. Let's just make me go fast. Hell yeah. Um, unless she's over that way. Because it said that Chris is supposed to be at Beachwell, right? She was going to meet me here. The pupper decks, yes. Wee. Oh, another elf dog. Hello. Oops. People think that just because I'm an elf, I'm into role-playing games. I mean, I am a level 85 bard, but it's unrelated. Unrelated, I tell you. It's okay, I understand. I don't. I'm not an elf, but still, I understand. Hello, sweet one. What is this? Can I take a picture? No, I can't. Oh, sad. Okay. A shame. Hello. Safety. <gasps> it's safety dog. It's the dog we've heard of so much about. Hi there, friend. I sit behind this cool booth all day and help keep the airport safe. If you find anything dangerous or weird while you're exploring, bring it back to me. I'll give you a cool reward. So, anything you'd like to turn in today? Tell me more about this reward. For Beachwell, I'm giving out beach balls. It's cute. That's fair. What's your deal? I like helping people, and I have a lot of novelty toys. It's just a logical conclusion. How can I tell if something's dangerous or illegal? I try sniffing anything I encounter before I interact with it, but that's backfired more than once. I'd like to turn something in. Awesome. Let me give this a quick once over. Hmm. What you've got is weird, but I don't think it's especially dangerous. Feel free to bring by anything else you think might fit, though. I'm here to help folks stay safe, not to be a narc. Should I turn the book in? Should I turn the orb in? Should I turn the gun in? I should turn the gun in. <laughs> what is life but the search for good dogs we haven't met yet? It's true. Who knows, Vicky, if Kai doesn't make it, your character could be anything. Not foreshadowing, I promise. <laughs> Kai's gonna make it, right? I love Kai. Hello, safety dog. I have something for you. Um, I'd like to turn something in. Awesome. Let me give this a quick once over. You sly dog. Enjoy your reward and come back anytime. Thank you. I got a beach ball. Woo! Hi, sweet one. Huh? Why? Hey, I just became an honorary cat. I'm a cat girl now. This is the greatest day of my life. Congratulations. So I've been working on my cat, cat scent. Mind telling me what you think of it? I'd love to. Okay, this is taking a lot of work, so even if it's bad, please don't laugh, okay? 
Okay. Okay. I have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog who was napping and probably dreaming about something delicious. The cat nearby chose not to get involved. Snitches get scritches, etc. So, what do you think? That was wonderful. Thank you. I really have been working hard on it. I want to take the title that was entrusted to me seriously. Say, you really helped me out, even though you didn't have to. When I became an honorary cat, I got a unique bolt of yarn. It's a symbol of trust. It's pretty important. I, I want to give you some of my yarn. You're awesome, and I think you deserve it. Oh. Thing is, I need to make sure I only give it to someone good. I could hurt a lot of good folks if I mess folks if I mess this up. So just to make sure, are you a good person? I think I am. The humility is lovely. I'd appreciate a clear answer though, please. Alright, I am a good person. Yes. Fantastic. Feels nice finding someone to trust like this. Thanks for bolstering my faith in good people doing great things. Take care, you fantastic cat girl. You still bark, though. That's funny. I got yarn. Also, I didn't pet you. There you go. Maybe we get that gun off the streets. Now, the free gun and not very free healthcare feels very American. <laughs> 10 out of 10 cat scent. It really was. Where is my wife? Where is Krista? She was supposed to meet me here. Hello. You can be many things. As long as the government doesn't catch you. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so I'm just gonna pet all the pilots. Pepper dog. Lots of folk trot around like the world's gonna stay the same forever. Not me. I've learned better. There's a storm a coming. Gonna need help to get supplies. Need an umbrella. If you could bring me one, I'd greatly appreciate it. I do have an umbrella. I've never seen it rain in a dog airport, though. Just because you ain't seen it before, doesn't mean it isn't gonna happen. Gotta be prepared, son. Sooner or later, all of our stories get an ending. Jesus. Okay. You know what? Oh, I got a lot of stuff, huh? You get me that umbrella for the coming storm? I don't mean to be impolite, but the sooner the better for both of us. Got an umbrella for you. Well, how about that? Right sturdy umbrella for the end of all things. Oh, okay. Thank you. Maybe for one night, this old dog can rest easy again. Okay. Jeez. You need extra pets, I think. Hi, pilot dog. Hi, pilot dog. Hi, pilot dog. What is that? Okay. Chris is supposed to be here, right? Let me check. We're supposed to reconnect in the Beachwell Airport on the main concourse. I haven't seen her. And I've been to all the main... Oh, maybe that's it? Over there? Okay, let's see. Let's find out. Well, I mean, no promises, but I'm not actively trying to kill off Kai, or Leaf, or the Doc, or Eris, or the rest of the Endurance's crew. Mostly. My wife! Krista! I've met so many dogs! Krista! You made it! And your memory seems fully intact now. Congratulations. How can you tell? It's your eyes. There's a weary acceptance in them that I appreciate and empathize with greatly. I'm glad you enjoy my existential terror. I've been thinking about us missing each other. I can't use a phone because of security around the big project. Aren't dogs orders. You know how it is. I'm always scared that one day I'm going to show up to a meeting too late. You won't be there and we'll never find each other again. Oh. 
It's a big universe. That's so depressing. We haven't missed each other yet. We've come close. You've been a little late because of flight delays and I'd be thinking about getting back to work because I'm always thinking about getting back to work. Then you seem to find me just before I enter my gate. We get our little piece of time together and I board. It's a wonder any of this works and that we're engaged. God, how did that happen? With my job, it feels like I'm always the one leaving. I don't know, maybe it's easier for you. Do you remember when we woke up? <laughs> yeah, I do. We had been dating for two weeks. We woke up surrounded by dogs. Apparently, there were aliens at some point as well. We missed that part. What about it? In a world that operates on entirely different rules than the ones we're used to, we still found lives to live. That's why I stayed, you know? I mean, I think you're cute, but I could do without a relationship. I'm fulfilled. Dogs provide free therapy, which is rad. The tipping point for me is that we woke up at a point in time where humans basically didn't exist anymore, and you didn't take our relationship for granted. You didn't try to repopulate the galaxy. You didn't take for granted that I'd stay. You just wanted me to. Aww. I knew I liked you when we became literally the only humans alive and you were still trying to win my heart, that's when I knew I loved you. Aww, this is so cute. It's a wonder that what we have works, but it works. With the small slices of time that we get it, yeah, this works. How about we go to the Marina Marinara Trench next? I could use a change of pace. I'm into it. All right, meet me at the Mariana... Marin, I'm gonna keep saying it. Can meet me at the Mar Marinara Trench in Terminal 2. I love you, weirdo. Love you too, weirdo. They're so cute! I can't! I'm gonna see it. Oh, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up. Okay. <laughs> this is so precious. I love them. Jimmy Donuts? Yo, Jimmy Donuts. I sell donuts. It's my destiny. What can I get you? Oh man, I love donuts. It is not a donut. It is never a donut. A donut is the masquerading villain parading inside of donut skin. Donut is a mediocre universal constant, and I will not brook its foul presence. Donuts it is. You got a good head on your shoulders. Carry this lesson well. Thank you, Jimmy Donuts. Can I I can't grab it. Okay. He's very good, Jimmy Donuts. Okay. And I think on that note, now that I know I have to uh head off to the Marinara Trench afterwards, um, I think I'm gonna end it there. So let me go find the dock to go save and then uh yeah i'm obsessed with this game i love it so much it is so cute um and i hope you guys like it too i think it's really fun can you save me beautiful but yeah i think that's uh i think that's it for today thank you guys all for hanging out thank you for experiencing this lovely little game with me um I am definitely going to keep playing. Um, I, I I wanted to check and see how long this game would take. And I looked it up and I probably should have asked. The developer was here before. I probably should have asked them. Um, but uh, I looked it up on how long to beat, which is usually a very good website to get that kind of information. However, one person has, has put down that they've played it before. Um, and it took them six hours. Uh, and that was the only information that I have. So off of one individual experience, um, which I don't know if I can trust the experience because they didn't rate the game very highly and I would rate this a 10 out of 10. Um, I am not sure how long this will take, but at least I'm going to be playing it for next week and probably the week after. So you're a cat person, but they all look like good boys. 
we've been told that there will be cats at some point. And so, and one of the dogs is an honorary uh, cat girl. So that's where I got the yarn from. Where's the yarn? I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> that, the skull, yes. Um, I have yarn somewhere. There's the yarn. Um, I am going for 100% pet's accomplishment. Yes, definitely. Um, but yeah, so I think, I think that's everything for today. Um, as far as the rest of the week goes, Wednesday, we're doing, um, astronomy news with, uh, Michael and Aiden, actually, cause I'm going to be at my other job, but that'll be at the regular time. And um, it'll be news, but it'll also be, um, if anyone's interested, um, Aiden's going to be talking a little bit about the conference he just went to. Um, he was at an exoplanet conference. And I don't know, I thought for some people that might be interesting. Uh, but if you're not interested in it, just tell the boys you want to talk about something else. We'll talk about something else. Uh, derail their conversations. It'll be fun. And then uh, on Friday, me, Grant, uh, oh my gosh, Matthew and Kyle, I forgot my other co-workers names um me grant matthew and kyle are going to be back playing more uh D, D in space um and uh i'll be back next monday to play more uh more of this lovely little little thing so um will the exoplanet conversation be available uh vod yes it will um that it'll be the usual on Twitch for like two weeks, but I can, um, if you guys want, I can also upload that one as a saved stream to the um, Teach Astronomy YouTube channel um, to keep that. And, um, oh, and also these, I'm gonna start uploading these as well. I'm uploading this and I'm uploading my old Outer Wild stream slowly to my personal YouTube channel, which you guys can check out if you go to the about page and click on my little face. Um, and I'll start uploading these kind of at the same time. So this will be out like, tomorrow or Wednesday or something because um, somebody pointed out that I should do that so I'm gonna do it um, but yeah I think that is about it actually is there anyone else playing this game let's see if we can raid somebody because if there's literally anyone else that is playing this game I would like to rate them um, let's find out do, 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 do. I don't know how many people are left here, but an airport for aliens currently run by dogs. It's just me, guys. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> that is a damn shame. Y'all should get this game. Um, but I guess I'll just end it here. So um, I will see you folks next time. Bye, everybody.